welcome to Crafty Becky Tutorials. I'm Crafty Becky, and in today's episode, we're going to be making a baby shower printable using ChatGPT and Canva. Baby shower printable games are really popular on Etsy. Like, a lot of people are making really good sales, as you will see during this training. And please, go ahead and subscribe to be part of the Crafty family. And if you're already a Crafty family member, then give yourself a big hug from me. Well, let's get started. So this is ChatGPT. And you go to chat.openai.com to get here. And then let's look at baby shower games. So these are some baby shower games I found on Etsy. So baby shower games, you search. And the one that really sticks out is this um, baby shower prices, right? Like that's really interesting. But I don't know if um, chat GPT will know what the prices are of stuff. And then another one is, is Baby Family Feud. Like, that one looks really cute. And then there's some more game ideas. Like, the Family Feud looks like it's doing very well. And there's a True or False game that could, could be done in ChatGPT. And other ones, yeah, like a True or False game could definitely be done. And you just look through and there's Trivia. And a word scramble. And then we're going to make... A, there's like a Baby Jeopardy. And I think we're going to make a Baby Shower Friendly Feud game like this one. I think a, a Friendly Feud or family, family Feud style game would be really fun. So I'm going to um, have it like write, write 20, 20 qu questions for a Family Family Feud style game for a baby baby shower with a ba baby theme for adults. And then it's giving me questions. And then what we need are the popular answers to each of these questions and then with points attached to them. So let's um, go ahead and wait till it's finished. And then we're going to have it give, a, give points to each possible question based on the most popular answers so when, when it's done typing. And I've been to so many baby showers. They're like a lot of fun. Like I go to this church and there's baby showers like almost every Saturday. And, but I always eat so much treats. Like they have like, like, like treats at the baby shower, like cakes and cookies and stuff. And I'll go there and just stuff my face, you know. So it's really dangerous for me to go to baby shower, especially when I'm trying to diet. I've actually lost like 40 pounds already. And, um, and it's been, been kind of a hard journey. But you could always see my progress on my TikTok. I'll put my TikTok down in the description if you want to look at my TikTok. Because I, I kind of post almost every day for my weight loss journey. Okay, so it looks like it's all about finished. And I'm going to put, write the answer, I mean, write the questions by themselves. So now it's writing the questions by themselves. And then we'll, we'll ask it to write the most popular answers under each question. And that could be for the answer key. Because what they're going to do is they're going to put the most popular answer. And if they um, guess one of the most popular answers, they'll get a point. They'll get points. I'm going to say, um, write, write the most, most popular answers to each, each qu question with, with points. So I'm going to say, write the most popular answers to each question with points. And look at survey a group of people. This is like hypothetical representation. So what's something they lose? Oh, I probably should, should say, um, write, write the most popular answers to the to the questions the um maybe the um five five most popular answers to each of the the questions with with points points for the most 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 popular answer to the question question down to the the least amount of points for the least least popular popular answer the least popular answer okay that that should do it
Now look, look, what so the um the number one thing parents lose sleep over is night is um night feedings, and then if they guess that they'll get 50 points, and then if they um that's just kind of a large number of points, like as I'm thinking, you know. So um so I think that's kind of too many points. It won't really balance the game out. So I'm gonna say um with um. And then um, have the the range in points swings be from 20 down to um, down to five. So that way it won't be so drastic. Yeah, there it, there it goes. That's what I was looking for. So that would be better for the game because otherwise, if, if someone's getting 50 points for guessing an answer, like that'll be hard for anybody else to bounce back in the game. You know, and it'll be discouraging. So I'm trying to make the game more balanced. Which is really important. So now it's like typing through. And let me know down in the comments like what kind of baby shower games that you've played at baby showers. This one game I, I played was we had a, a roll of toilet paper and everybody had to um, guess how big the the, the, um, the woman's like uh, belly was with the toilet paper. Why is it? It's like it stopped. And I say right, right all all 20 questions with the um yeah i'm gonna say write all 20 20 questions oops stop generating let me just put this again and write write all 20 20 20 questions Okay, just telling it to write all 20 questions. It looks like it stopped. Okay, so it's going. If this happens to you to say, Chat GPT, you better do what I say, bitch. And then it'll do what you say. <laughs> so now it's just typing through all that. This will be like the answer key. And it will just keep going on and on. Okay, so it finished everything. So now we're going to go up to get the questions. And copy this. And we're going to Canva. We're going to create a design. And we're going to go to Flyer. And we're going to call it um, Baby Shower Viewed Printable. And we're going to go to File, View Settings, make sure you have Show Rules and Guide selected, and then go to Show Margins. Then let's get the text, and, and right here it says a little bit of body text, so let's get that and like lower it down to like 20. And make sure it's aligned to the left, and then paste all those questions. And we're going to remove the list format. And we're going to add like um, two spaces in between each question so they have room to write. Okay, so those are all the 20 questions. Then we can go and number the questions. So one, two. So this is the baby shower. So now I'm going to make a cute heading and I'm going to call it um, a baby shower feud. I'm gonna call it friendly friendly feud because you know family feud is copyrighted, so you don't want to say family feud in your printable title, just in case, because that is a copyrighted name. You should always check for copyright. You should go to the the copyright trademark, so the U.S. trademark search, and it will come up first. Then you could search the trademark database. It's a basic word search. And if I search family feud, it's taken. You see that family feud is taken? So you don't want to put family feud in your product name at all because it's, it's copyrighted. So then we could make it kind of cuter. This one here is a buffalo font. And 
And if you're doing cursive font, I like to do um, serif font because it just looks more classy with cursive font, like a serif. And a serif has little feet. Because I studied graphic design in college, and that's what they recommend everybody do for their work. And I know nowadays it's kind of been, it's kind of changed. Like a lot of rules have been broken. But still, I'm an old school, I stick to the rules. And speaking of rules, we should probably have ChatGPT give us rules. So write, write rules for the, the family, family feud game. So baby shower rules and guidelines. So it's giving us the rules and we can put the rules in another um, page. Make sure you read over it just in case something doesn't make sense. Because that, that could happen. Like I've seen it happen before when I write content with ChatGPT. Sometimes it may not make any sense. So I like to use Grammarly. And Grammarly is a really good tool to check the spelling and grammar of pieces of content. Especially if you're going to publish them on a blog or something. It's always good. And also it kind of changes it up. So let's make a page. And let, let's go... Um, rules then paste all that and then look here it says 8, 8D was the last one we did so let, let's kind of get rid of the the one that says fast money round because we just we don't, I don't I don't know this just doesn't seem proper for a baby shower to do that it seems like like um yeah it's kind of sounds kind of cheap So then general rules, let's um, increase the size here. One, I mean, okay, I may as well one. Make sure it's unbolded. And two, okay, there's seven. Okay, so that's the rules here. We did the rules page. This will be part of the printable. And then now the answer key. Let's copy this and this. And let's go down to make a new page. Add a page and let's just paste it. And now let's get the answers. Which is this. And that's the answer. Because what they're going to do is they're going to tell it, say what points they got based on the most popular answers. And that's kind of too big. Let's um, decrease the size. So we'll have to do the formatting here for the next next pages. So this starts number six. Let's zoom in. Put diapers and then just, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm putting a dash and then pretty, pressing enter and it's making a bullet next to it. And seven. So then you got everything formatted up to 20. So now we got everything finished here. And then you go up, up to the top of the page and you could decorate it. So you might want to put like some baby graphics. So let's go to graphics and let's search um, babe, baby, baby shower perhaps. And now we got all these graphics. There's like a baby here we could put on there. Like we could just decorate with a baby and then we got like a bib. But this looks like it's a boy baby, like just whatever. You might want to have something gender neutral. 
Because there are gender neutral baby showers where they don't really um, they, they don't really want to talk about the gender, so they just have it be yellow for the most part or just other. So you could do that, or if, or if you know for sure it's a girl or a boy, you can have you can have one for a baby boy, and just have the decorations different. You can have two games, ones for a boy and ones for a girl, in your product, so they can be decorated differently. If you want to do that, that way you, that way if somebody is having a baby boy, they might possibly get your product for their their baby boy. You know, if they have a baby girl, they can get your product too for their baby girl. It just helps you target both markets for boys and girls. Yeah, so you can just go go through and you can just decorate it. Like here's the next page. And we can let's add some decorations here. And you don't have to decorate each page. If you just want to decorate the first page, that's fine. But then when you're done, you have this really cute baby shower printable game. And then we could share it as a download and download it as a PDF standard or you can do PDF print. You know, if you want, but we'll just do PDF standard because it won't, it'll take too long if we do a PDF print. So let's download. And now we have the Baby Shark printable game. And then you would upload this to Etsy. There's the rules. And then we got the game. And they can just write in the answer and then they have the answer key where it tells them how many points they get for the best answer. And if they get an if they put an answer there and there's no points for that answer, then they don't get any points at all. So that's how this game works. Okay, well let me know if there's any questions and please subscribe to be part of the Crafty Family. You're not gonna want to miss the Crafty Family giveaway we're gonna have when we reach a thousand Crafty Family members. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the alert so you can be notified of all my future uploads. Have a great day. Goodbye.